Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand glial cells and different types of glial cells within 5 minutes. For that, we need to begin with neurons. As we know, neurons are the fundamental units or building blocks of nervous system. In our brain, there is approximately 86 billion neurons. So this is a structure of a neuron. It consists of a cell body with nucleus. Then this dendrites receives information, then transmit this information through this axon as electrical signals. Then there is at the nerve ending or synaptic region, there is chemical messengers or neurotransmitters are also there. We are not going into the detail of the structure. So neurons are or nerve cells are simply information messengers that transmit information using electrical and chemical signals between different parts of the brain and also to different parts of the brain to different parts of the body thus coordinating the entire activities of the body. This is a nerve cell or a neuron but actually neuron is like this. Along with neurons there are many other cells present like microglial cells, astrocyte, ependymal cells, oligodendrocyte etc. All other cells other than neurons or nerve cells are called glial cells. There are approximately 86 billion glial cells also indicating the importance of glial cells and the normal functioning of neurons. Previously it is believed that glial cells are meant for protection and also for support, a structural support. Now it's clear that it's having many prominent functions in information transfer also. In short, glial cells are non-neuronal cells of the nervous system. They are responsible for proper functioning of neurons. They cannot generate action potential like neurons. They are having resting potential. They do not have chemical synapses also. Now let us see neuroglial cell types and function. So based on the location in central nervous system, there are four types of neuroglial cells, astrocytes, ependymal cells, oligodendrocytes and microglia. Astrocytes, as you see, the star-shaped cells, that's why it is called as astro, it is responsible for maintaining blood-brain barrier. It controls the levels of neurotransmitter around synapses. It also plays a critical role in regulating iron concentration like potassium ion concentration and also provides metabolic support. It provides glucose for or energy or glucose for neurons. The second type of cells is ependymal cells. So this is ependymal cells. Ependymal cells are responsible for the formation of thin membranous lining of spinal cord and ventricles of brain which is called as ependyma. It's also involved in the production of cerebrospinal fluid. And the next one is oligodendrocytes. As you see it is responsible for myelinating these axons. This myelin sheath acts as an insulator, offers protection and also it provides structural support or structural framework. And the next one is microglia. Microglia these are microglial cells. These are dedicated brain's immune cells. They are responsible for clearing out dead cells and also clearing out pathogens by phagocytosis. The four neuroglial cell types in central nervous system are astrocytes, ependymal cells, oligodendrocytes and microglia. Now let us see what are the cells present in peripheral nervous system. Inside peripheral nervous system, there are two types of cells. First one is satellite cells and the second one is Schwann cells. So this is a satellite cell. It surrounds neuron cell bodies in ganglia. It regulates neurotransmitter levels. Whereas Schwann cells has the role of oligodendrocytes in central nervous system. It is responsible for myelinating neurons in peripheral nervous system also involved in maintenance and regeneration of neurons after injury. So let me summarize neuroglial cell types. Based on location, in central nervous system there are four types of neuroglial cells. 
astrocytes, ependymal cells, oligodendrocytes, and microglia. Whereas in peripheral nervous system, satellite cells and Schwann cells are present as neuroglial cell types. Glial cells are cells other than neurons present in nervous system. Hope you are clear. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.